Hey. What's going on, grumpy fly fisherman fans? LG in the house? Almost in the house. I'm actually in the backyard. Myself and MJ, the wonder dog. Um, anyway, I had a question on my YouTube channel, the grumpy fly fisherman, uh, from my last video when I was up in Waterton Canyon about my rig um, and how I rig up my rod holder on my, my bike and how all that works. So we're going to go over all that today. Um, myself and MJ, the wonder dog right there. We'll go over it with you. Anyway, um, let's just get right to it. This is my rig. This is a 1986 rock hopper. Uh, I'm the original owner of this thing because I'm older than dirt. And it's my kind of towny cruiser bike. Um, it's kind of well known in the mountain bike world. <laughs> kind of, sort of. And um, it's been hand painted by myself with spray paint. And I've got this physique saddle on here which is worth more than the bike. Compliments in that, Ross. And um, this is my rig. Um, you can find rigs like this, similar, similar vintage, uh, similar style, all over Facebook Marketplace. And those bikes are anywhere between $100 to $250. So if you need a rig, you can check out Facebook Marketplace or... Um, Craigslist, uh, eBay, maybe, but typically you're going to find your cheapest options um, on Facebook Marketplace. We got a million of them out here in Colorado, a lot of listings. So, this is the rig. Um, as far as the gearing in goes, not a big deal. Waterton Canyon is basically an old railroad type grade, so it's, it's like 3% or less going up the canyon. So, super easy to pedal up. Um, remember, e-bikes are not allowed in Waterton Canyon, even though you see a bunch of them up there. Um, they are not allowed up in Waterton. So, you need a typical pedal bike, which is what we have here. Um, to just go over it real quick, uh, the braking system, no big deal. Old canties, old V-brakes, um, they all work. Make sure you have a bell. I like to have a bell. Um, there's a lot of people up there on some days, and they appreciate it if you let them know you're coming. This is a loud bell. And I'll let them know that like 100 feet away when I'm behind them or coming towards them and they're not paying attention. Uh, it also lets the rattlesnakes know you're coming. <laughs> um, you're going to need a bicycle that has brazons, which are these attaching spots for a rack. And this rack is has been on the bike basically since i owned it i used to race on this thing believe it or not back in the 80s and um all the racks today that you can purchase are aftermarket racks you might be able to pick up a used cheap one junky one um we have them come in the bike shop all the time but you can pick one up fairly inexpensively um they all have the ability to adjust and connect to pretty much any of these vintage type frames um with allen bolts which is what you can see here and then they also connect down here at the dropouts like so um so you're gonna have to have a rack if you want to rig up the way i've got mine rigged up and this works pretty well the tube um is really firm and stiff cardboard this is actually a fly rod shipping tube and i had the um the luxury of managing a fly shop um, for the better part of a year before they went out of business because of COVID to Denver Fly Shop. Now I go to the Golden Fly Shop for everything I need. Um, to be honest with you, I still have some pro deals going. So, um, But when I need stuff, the Golden Fly Shop is the place, especially for fly time materials. And the way I've got this tube rigged up is, I'll show you here. I've cut some holes in the tube, and all I'm doing is running heavy duty zip ties. One to hold it like in position, the other one to hold it up right there so it doesn't slide down. Same thing down below. And then just covered it with basically blue duct tape and stickers. That's it. So that's all that's holding it in place. And it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, this is an old shipping fly rod tube. Um, 
there was a time in our shop when we had, you know, 30 or 40 of them, but I no longer have access to them. But maybe head to your local fly shop and see if you can get a tube. If not, um, typical shipping tubes that you can get, I'm guessing, in any Office Depot or, um, you know, even a Target, you might be able to get them. So any office supply shop that sells shipping tubes, um, make sure it's super heavy duty. This one is really stout. If it rains on it, it's probably gonna wreck it. Um, but I don't see that happening. So that, that's the rig. And basically I'll throw whatever reel I'm gonna be fishing with in the back pocket of my vest, which will I'll show you some more of that later. But these tubes, and this is a, um, oh, this is a three piece that I fish with, boom. And then I just ride up. It's got a, it's got a bottom that's sealed on it. I don't, you probably can't see that way down there. Um, here's your bottom. So it's got a, I think it's aluminum. That's not coming out of there. And then there's a foam pad in the bottom of this. So it doesn't rattle around and make a bunch of noise. So this is another sage tube. Any rod tube will fit in there, no problem. And um, carry well, really well. And then on days, if I want to bring one of my older, I have some older style two-piece rods um, with reel attached that I can put in these super old DV dunk cases that I have because that's all we used to fish with were two-piece rods. So I've got, still got some older rods, but this will fit in there as well. No problem. Boom. And it's not coming out of there. There's no way that's coming out. So that's my rig. And uh, if you see me riding up Waterton Canyon with this thing, and the reason we uh, ride is because you cannot drive up there. Uh, one of the nice things about Waterton is you can't have dogs up there either. Um, so it's pretty chill. Uh, it's the start of the Colorado Trail, basically. There's a lot of wildlife up there, so they don't want dogs. You'll see bighorn sheep almost every time you go up there. And um, even a bear on occasion. Uh, there's plenty of deer up there. You see them all the time. But, um, yeah, it's a low-grade road, dirt road, smooth, mag chloride, super smooth, so it's really easy to ride. And um, it's uh, super chill. So, again, you'll see plenty of people up there. That's why I have the bell. The rod tube, work, rod tube works for pretty much every single rod I have. Um, I've got plenty of them. We can go over that later. And then just make sure you get good rubber and tires on your bike. There's not a lot of stuff you can flat on up there, but just make sure you have good tires on your rig and you should be good. I run mine super firm. I run my tire pressure almost uh, 50 pounds. So my bike rolls pretty easily. And uh, I basically just put my waders on, throw my vest on, my net on my back, my waiting staff on my belt, and I ride up there just like that. Rigged up and ready to go. I got a little flashing tail light on here as well. I don't need that up there, but I had a battery's dead on it. So, oh no, it's still going. So anyway, that's the program. That's the Grumpy Fly Fisherman's rig. If you see this laying on the side of the dirt road up there, I'm down in the river fishing somewhere. So, LG, the Grumpy Fly Fisherman, the Waterton Canyon rig. Um, yeah, the only way you can get up there is if you walk or ride so you can ride a bicycle no driving no access to vehicles um, unless they're working up there and stember waterboard property so that's the deal man um and it's about a little under six miles up to the dam of uh, stranita springs reservoir and typically you can fish from there all the way down so it's good to have a rig like this that you can ride up there five five to six miles up and then work your way down if you want to do that so the fishing's pretty good i find that the, i find the fishing up there is pretty good from about a mile and a half to two miles up all the way up to the dam right mj <laughs> right. the grumpy fly fisherman from the backyard going over the rig and basically that's it man works like a charm and i love it if you have any other questions feel free to ask please subscribe and uh, give this video a like if you learned anything and you think this is a good way to do it if you have better options uh, let me know give me a shout 
Again, uh, e-bikes are not allowed up there, so don't think about it. Don't do it. Eldri, the grumpy... F Eldri. That's like my rapper name. LG, the grumpy fly fisherman from my backyard with MJ, the wonder dog. We're out.